A man went to visit a mental hospital. The director guides him to the main room. All residents are gathered. Suddenly a madman yells a number, and everybody laughs. Somebody yells another number, and everybody laughs again. The visitor asks what's happening. The director says that to save time, they numerate every joke, so they don't have to tell the entire joke every time. And he encourages the visitor to say a number. 23. He screams. Everybody is silent. The director explains, you're not funny to tell jokes. This episode is also about enumeration, in this case, step sequencer patterns. Eight step sequences used to have cells to build patterns. If every cell has two states, on and off, all the possible combinations are two, raised to the eighth power, or 256. We can think of every pattern as a binary octet. In the decimal system, we know that every position has a value, units, tens, hundreds. In base 10, the units are 10 to 0. The tens are 10 to 1. The hundreds are 10 squared, the thousands 10 cubed, and so on. The binary system is built the same way, but with base 2. So instead of having 1, 10, or 100, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. So if you put a different number for every cell in the patterns, and sum them all, from a 8-digit number in base 2, we get a 3-digit number in base 10, for every combination. What's the use of all this? That you can dial a specific pattern with a single knob, or you can name several patterns to build structures. The best tool for this job is the module Analog to Digital by Hetrick CV. It converts a signal between 0 and 5 volts, to 8 outputs that send a high or a low signal according to the current binary octet. With, I love cookies, we can build sequences by writing letters. Caps are to take the value from the inputs. Small letters are to take the value from the knobs. This module is so powerful that it will do two tasks. The first is to sequence the numbers that will be converted to binary octets. The second will be to switch sequentially from the eight outputs to only one. We have to connect the outputs from the binary octet to the sequencer inputs. We let the a knob in zero volts in order to interpolate it to split the gates. We have 26 letters for 26 patterns that we can choose. We have to find the number for every pattern we want. So we connect a clock. In the fourth sequence, we write AZ and we connect to the analog to digital input. Now if we move the Z knob, it changes the outputs. If we add the letter Y, on every beat the output switches between the values of the Z and Y knobs. Let's patch three analog to digital modules to get sequences for a kick drum, a snare, and a hi-hat. The first three sequences are fed with a clock at 16th notes. It's for eight steps, but we need an empty step in between to split the hits. The last three sequences are to program the whole song. These clocks are at a whole note, so every step of the last sequences lasts the same as the 16 steps of the first sequences. The B knob is at 0.66 volts, which represents a pattern with the first and the middle steps on, or quarter notes. The C knob is at 2.67 volts, which corresponds to the pattern with the third and the seventh steps on, or the backbeat of the snare. The D knob is all the way up at 10 volts, this is the number 255, or all the eighth notes on for the hi-hat. We set two turns of the rhythm. In the second step, we change the patterns to get fills or silences. By adding modules, we can perform bit operations like shifting the pattern.
want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.